Hi, so I gave a talk at Jazoon Tech Days in Zurich this week, and for that, I created a new demo in Missions that I thought would be fun to share here. Uh, so what it does is it takes a file that you upload, in this case to random, in this test Slack team that I have, and it calls out to a custom step that is going to call out to two Azure APIs uh, under the Cognitive Services uh, umbrella, uh, their new face API that does face detection. And if we detect that one of our team members is inside of one of these photos, we're going to notify them and tell them that someone else just uploaded a photo uh, with them in it. And they can decide what to do with it then. And so we've already uploaded all of the avatars and trained a group of people in uh, for the face API on Azure. And so this is the custom step that gets invoked and it gets passed one input, the link to the file. We take that file and we upload it to the detect endpoint as part of the face API. And what this does is it'll identify any faces in the photo and return IDs and boundaries for those faces. And then we take those list of faces, if there were any, and we call the identify endpoint, which then tries to match that against anybody in our Slack team with all the list of IDs and a confidence of greater than 35%, and we only want one, uh, one result returned for each region. And so if we get any of those back, we then just return an output of mentions that just has a comma separated list of the user IDs as mentions so we can just drop into a Slack message easily. And so I'll just show you how that works here. So we'll jump over to this random channel. I have uh, this. <laughs> I'll take a picture of myself with. And I'll go ahead and, and upload this to random. And so what should happen is after this uploads, it'll call my custom step after the mission triggers, trigger the mission, call my custom step. It'll call those two Azure uh, endpoints. And then if it thinks I matched uh, this photo, my user, it should, it should happen. So within 58% uh, accuracy or likelihood that I matched. So it detected that in this case, I uploaded a photo with me in it. So it's pretty awesome. Um, really simple to do. You saw it was only a couple calls. And so what I can do is I'll just go over here to uh, Google and I'm gonna search for Corey Grunkemeyer and me and I'm gonna try to find pictures of Corey and I together. And uh, so Corey's on, on the missions team and let's see, okay, here, I'll just do these two here. So I'm gonna grab these two pictures of uh, Corey and I, and I'll just show you that it can detect, hopefully this works, but that it can detect two faces in the same image, and it'll do the same thing. It'll just mention two people if, this, if it actually works. Uh, so I'll bounce over here to photos, and we'll see that, oh, I just, I, by the skin of my teeth, 37% uh, matched, uh, I think, because of the, um, the expression in that photo when I only trained it with one photo. So but it's pretty cool. You can see how I matched on these two people. And then, you know, I could also go over here and just find someone that I'll just, I'll take this guy, let's say, and we'll go ahead and upload his photo to random. And hopefully we shouldn't match on him. And what will happen is that the mission will be uh, aborted and we won't continue on to that last step if there isn't a match. So we shouldn't see any updates in the photo here for that guy. Uh, but so pretty simple, right? A uh, couple calls with a custom step uh, to those Azure services with the corpus of images from our Slack team that has those photos and is trained against those photos to those people. So you could really see how this would be useful to be able to, to notify people if they're mentioned in, in images or even to do something like take a picture in a meeting and have it identify who was in that meeting. Um, lots of interesting use cases for this, but uh, thanks for listening and let me know if you have any questions.